Hello, my name is Vic and welcome back to another Caden Live 2021 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use basic titles and let's just do a quick version check. We're using version 21.04, which is actually a new version. And this is the latest version at the making of this video. Let's set our project settings. So I'm going to go to project, project settings, and I just want to set it at 1080p at 24 frames per second. Of course, you can set it to whatever you like, but for me, I just want to keep it at 24 frames per second. Press OK. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring our clip in. If you're looking for a place to download some nice videos so that you can practice, you can definitely check out pexels.com. It's actually a 4K clip. So it's asking me if I wanted to switch my project settings. I'm just going to press cancel because I want to keep it at 1080p, 24 frames per second. Let's make sure that you are in the editing workspace. A quick way to do that is just click on editing so that you will see the same interface that I am seeing here on the screen. So this is a pretty basic video. We've just got a drone shot flying over one of my favorite cities in the US, which is Atlanta. So let's bring that down into our timeline. As you can see here, our video doesn't have any sound. So although there is a audio container here in the green, that is actually empty. So there's no waveform. Let's go ahead and add our title. The easiest way to add your title is to click on your project bin and click on add clip, add title clip. It's going to open the title editor which look really daunting here, but trust me, it's actually pretty powerful and pretty easy to use. We've got a toolbar here that lets us add text. It lets us add a rectangle, an ellipse, even lets us add an image. We can open an existing document and we can save an existing title. It even lets you download some title templates. So let's check this out. It's going to open up our Canon Live add-on installer and we've got some titles here, some title templates. But for now, I'm not going to download anything. You can feel free to try these yourself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create yours from scratch. Let's add a simple title text. I'm going to add a title text here. I'm going to click on the middle of the screen. We've got text and I'm just going to type in Atlanta. Once you finish typing in your text, you can click out and click back onto your text and you can move this around. This canvas in the background represents the size of your video. So let's say I wanted to put it on the lower third over here. I'll create the title. I've got my title over here. And when I drag that down, it'll show me Atlanta in the text. Very simply, that's how we can create a title. Let's go ahead and edit this title. So how we can edit is simply to go back to our project bin, right click, edit clip and it's going to bring us back to our title editor. I'm going to click on my text and just move it in the middle. So what I want is a big text title right in the middle of the screen. Over here on the right, we can change our font. Let's just do open sans. I'm going to increase the size of my font. Let's make it 300. It's a bit off screen so I can move it in the middle. I can change the font weight if I want. So I can make it a light. In this case, I don't think it, oh, because it's already semi-bold. To demonstrate this, I'm going to click on Open Sans, which is the regular font, and we can change the font weight here. So light, normal, semi-demi-bold. Let's do black. We have an underline tool. We can do italic. We can insert a Unicode. We can change the color. Say I want it to be something else, so a different color. But in this case, I just want it to be white. We can do an outline. So we can increase this outline. And right now our outline is blue. I can change that to red if you like. So it's different outline. You can change the thickness of the outline. So let's just play with this a little bit. So there you go. 50. I just want it to be zero, so that's fine. We can add a shadow to the text. So here we've got a little bit of an outline shadow. I actually really like this effect. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the blur and offset a little bit. There we go. We can change the color of the shadow, but in this case, I just want to keep it as that gray shadow. The other cool thing is I know that you see some align tools here, but that's only for your text. But what if I want to align it to in terms of its position on the screen? What you can use is this alignment toolbar over here. So let's play with this a little bit. So we want to align to the left. It's going to align it to that left border, the first one. If I press it again, it's going to align it further into the next border. And then finally to the edge of the screen. I just want this to be in the middle of my screen. So what I'm going to do is align item horizontally and then align the item vertically. And that way it's going to be dead center. I think I'm happy with the size of the text. I can rotate the text if I want. So just playing around a little bit over here. Can deform the text a little bit. Let's see, rotate it on the Z axis. We're just going to reset that all to zero. What about the zoom? Let's play with the zoom. Now you can enlarge your text, but we can change the text size as well over here. So let's keep that at 100%. This is a new feature that the latest version of Caden Live has added. It is the typewriter effect. I'm not going to demonstrate this for now. So I'm just going to leave this ticked off. We're only doing a basic title today, but while we're here, I'm going to go over the other things that you can add. So let's try adding a rectangle. So I've clicked on the rectangle tool here. And as you can see, I can add a rectangle. So if you want some sort of a background to your text, you can do that. Let's uh, change the rectangles color into, let's say a red. And it's not doing anything because the alpha channel is set at 100. So there is a bit of transparency. So let's increase this to the maximum. I think the max is 155. I think it's 255 max. There we go. So that's full opacity. And if you notice, it actually put our text behind. So what we can do is I want to show you how to move objects higher or lower than others. So I've selected my rectangle here and I can lower the object. And that brings up my Atlanta. So if I demonstrate that again, if I click on Atlanta, let's say I want to lower that object, put it down. I want to raise it. Remember, I've got the Atlanta text selected at the moment. So I can raise that object to the top. It'll be at the top of everything else. I'm going to select my rectangle again. Obviously, that solid color is not great. Let's just try changing it. So let's change it to an orange. There we go. We can change orange, whatever you like. You can have a gradient color. So this is actually not going to look great on our video. So I'm going to just delete that just to show you. You can add an ellipse, same thing. And you can add an image. The best image to add is a transparent image, such as a PNG file. Or if you have an SVG file, sometimes those work. They can act a bit funny. So I recommend using a PNG file. So I'm happy with this title. Hopefully we went over a lot of the tools here at your disposal. I'm going to click update title. On our clip monitor, we just see the text, but on our project monitor, we see the text Atlanta. Let's play this and see what it looks like. What I'm going to do is I want the text to enter after a few seconds in the video so I can move my text around. I'm just going to zoom into my timeline here. So I'm clicking control and mouse, mouse wheeling up to zoom in so that we've got a better, larger view. Let's play this. And the big Atlanta text is going to show up. So that actually looks really nice. I think that looks great. What you can do as well is you can add a simple transition like a wipe to fade the text in. If you want to fade the text out, same thing. You can add a wipe transition. Very simple. Let's play that. See what that looks like. Maybe that was too fast. Let me play it again.
That actually looks really nice. We didn't cover transitions yet, I know. I'll cover it in a future video, but what you can do if you want to play around, you can click on the wipe transition here and you can use something different. Let's try a spiral. And here, let's try maybe a checkerboard. So it's gonna spiral in, sort of, and then checkerboard out. That's kind of cool. I like the checkerboard. So let's do checkerboard in, checkerboard out. So this is how you can do some basic text effects in Caden Live as well. You create the text first, and then you add some sort of a transition at the end. And I think that's about covers our basics for today for our titles. If you enjoyed watching this video, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. It helps to support the channel. Video links in the description for more information. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time.